What's up everybody, welcome back to Casual Lab. I am playing this Summer Olympics game by Google. You can still play this game, just Google do the Champion Island game. I covered the Tanuki City, Artistic Swimming Island and the Archery Dock in the previous video. Be sure to catch those as well. As for today's video, I will be going to the beach, Oni Island and the Table Tennis Town. But before we move on, I would really appreciate it if you can hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell and like this video to support the channel. You may also want to join my Discord server to meet like-minded people and find out what other games I am actively playing. It is still small but I hope you can join us. Discord server link in the description below. Continuing from the previous video, we are heading to the beach. I beat 3 champions in the previous video. So the sport for the beach is athletics, particularly sprinting. But let's see if there are any quests in the beach. I guess Kijimuna are the creatures on this island that are defending the scroll. Okay, so this Kijimuna here wants 3 pieces of wood. There is one right outside his house. Another one on the bottom right of the beach. The last one is really troublesome. You will have to clear a few other quests on the way before you can reach last piece of wood. The last piece of wood is beyond these two quarreling Kijimuna, disputing on who is the winner of a race. You will need to bring them food from a bakery in Tanuki City. And the bakery in Tanuki City is beyond the roadblock. So you need the spring water and you will find an obstacle before reaching the spring. So there are quite a few quests. Firstly, you need to clear this pile of snow. You need to go to the arrow shop in the archery dock. Fluffy the shop owner will give you a free super fire arrow if you find the ingredients as the spring is part of his holiday plan. Anything related to fire is in the Oni Island. Head to the Oni Island and you will find the lava conveniently placed at the top of the island. Head back to Fluffy at the arrow shop in the archery dock. Then head back to the spring. Boom and the road is clear. Head into the spring and grab the bottle of water. It is obvious from here. Head to the Tanuki city and give the spring water to the blue ox. Although Tanuki city is in the west, it is a central city as far as the story is concerned and you will need to head back to this city many times throughout the game. Once you're at a bakery, save the sample for the pair of quarreling Kijimunas. Okay, 
Okay, so this baker monkey here wants to retire and he is looking for an apprentice. Well, we will come back here when we found an apprentice for the baker. Let's explore this area a little. The blue ox is looking for his new lazy trainee. Remember the guild masters from the first video? If you join the blue ox guild, you will be able to enter this building. Same for the red bird, green kappa, and yellow fox guilds. Head to the beach and look for the quarreling Kijimunas. Give them the snack and you will be able to pass. Pick up the last piece of driftwood Kijimunas are no longer quarreling. Hand the three pieces of wood to the sculptor and he will make a sculpture of yourself. Talk to this yellow fox on the east of the beach. The table tennis bed is on the west side of the beach. Easy quest. This quest here, you need to help this poor parent find his child. A game of hide and seek, the child will hide near the entrance of the beach. Then behind a big tree. And finally on the tree near the entrance. Go back and talk to the parent and you're done with this quest. Let's challenge the Kijimunas to a race now. We warned that this racing minigame is really hard. I took multiple attempts to clear the advanced version of it. You gain speed if you don't hit anything or move out of the track. Sounds simple, right? But it's really hard, especially with the octopi and crabs around. And your opponents don't slow down when they touch the octopi and crabs. You need to get first place to be awarded with the scroll. Yeah, so it took me a few tries.
the advanced version here, it is even harder. There is a larger crab too, and the distance is almost 4 times of the easier one. You may think that the distance doesn't matter, but a longer distance means you will have to keep your focus for a longer period of time. I actually came back here to play this minigame again after I completed the story. Let's head to the Oni Island now. So the Onis run the island and they play rugby. A member is missing, we need to find this guy called Momotaro. We need to head to the mountains, interact with the peaches. Anyway, Momo means peach in Japanese. Yeah, that's why you are looking for peaches. This guy must be Momotaro. Ha, ah, he looks like the young Rock Lee from Naruto. So apparently you are the chosen one to bring balance to the entire champion islands by beating all the other champions. And the chosen ones are always a Neko. This fluffy cat here is the previous chosen one. Ah, this is the apprentice that the baker monkey is looking for.
This must be the champions. Anyway, let's head to the baker in Tanuki City before I forget. Choose his and Oni. Yeah, this is the true meaning of fair employment. If you head back to Oni Island, the monkey and the Oni had swapped places. Let's play rugby now. This minigame is really easy. Just get all the power-ups and you shouldn't get caught. We will head to the table tennis town next. Tengu is the champion of table tennis. We have played table tennis in the introduction of the game. I guess it will be much harder here. Apparently the Tango is a nice NPC, but he plays table tennis with his fan and it created too much wind that the residents here have to leave the town. Anyway, we have to steal the fan, but being a child-friendly game, you probably won't succeed. The Tango is sleeping. Yeah, the Tengu caught you. I chose beautiful fan. Typical answer for somebody who got caught. Okay, so the Tango is willing to trade that fan for his missing invisibility cloak. We have to look for sparkles in a bamboo forest. Which is just here. The Tengu refused to trade even when you return the invisibility cloak to it. And it's all just a misunderstanding. The Tengu issue is resolved, so let's challenge it now. We 
need to score 30. This table tennis game is really easy. As you hit the balls, the bar will charge up. When the bar is fully charged, you will smack all the balls back to the Tengu and scoring all the points. Even if the balls had passed your avatar, it will still be smacked back to the Tengu and score points from it. So it is actually an unfair mechanism that works in your favor. Easy peasy. If you talk to the yellow fox, it will tell you to light up all the lamps around the table tennis table. Once you lit up all four lamps, you can play a more advanced version of the table tennis minigame. More balls and first to reach a higher score to win. Oh yeah, the town has been raining non-stop. We need to hit with the bamboo grove. Okay, it is this kid here behind the Tengu's house. His name is Kozo and the rain follows it. Ame means rain, I guess. So you need to get a train ticket in Tanuki City in order for Kozo to leave. Head to the train station. Okay, the tickets are sold out. But we can get a ticket from the noodle shop owner. advantage of a main protagonist. Anyway, bring that train ticket to Kozo and the rain should stop. This is the most advanced version of the table tennis minigame. Now, the minigame is really not hard even as there are more balls at one time. I guess the higher score to win just takes up more stamina and focus out from us. So that's it for today's video. I will be covering the last champion at the mountains in the next video. I will also complete the story and all the side quests. Just to recap, 
we still have a quest to deliver a message to the lost soul and to hand the lucky arrow to the fish from the previous video. We also have to find this lazy new trainee for the blue ox from this video. I will cover all these in the next video because I forgot about them. Please give a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next video. Remember to turn on that notification bell too. Bye!